I'm Sam, and welcome to Writing with Sam. Yeah, today we're going to be focusing on writing the letter G. Yeah, you'll remember it says G, and you know, sometimes G, but mostly G, and uh, we're going to focus on writing that letter. This one's going to be an interesting one, because we're going to finally see what happens with that cat's tail. You know, that cat that hangs out on the headline and the collar line and the foot line that I talk about. Anyway, to find out more about that cat's tail, let's bounce over that table and practice writing our letter G. And uh, we're going to be writing the letter G today. So, to get started with my writing, I'm going to use my pointy finger and my thumb. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a pinchy out of them. I'm going to pick up the pencil up here on the yellow. And then I'm going to lay it right back down into my fist like that. See? Then I'm ready to get started. Now I can see the cat over here and this long straight line that goes on top of the cat. Yep, it touches his head. So we call that the, yep, that's right. We call that the headline. And then this line here, the dot, 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 dot line goes right across this collar. Yep, we call it the collar line. Of course we do. And then this last line down here touches his feet. So we call that the foot line. And you can see his tail hangs down below, right? So we're going to talk about that tail here with the letter G. So to start with the uppercase G, I'm going to want to make almost a big letter O or like a zero in here, okay? But not quite. So I'm going to show you how I, how I change it. I'm going to start about halfway between the headline and the collar line. And I'm going to go up and start doing my O. It's going to come up and go back towards the cat touch the headline keep looping around like i'm making my little circle my egg shape oval i'm going to go all the way back up but i'm going to stop at the collar line and then i'm going to go that way okay so you can see it goes up and around and then when you hit the collar line you go that way so it doesn't quite close it's an open kind of letter okay that's an uppercase g now lowercase g this is where it gets tricky this one's kind of funky, man. Check this out. Lowercase g is going to start at the collar line. And it's going to make like a little oval kind of like a teardrop sort of shape. Or a little oval down here. Okay? But watch. Watch. This is cool. So I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to come down. And I'm going to go back up. And then I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to go straight back down. And just like that cat's tail, I'm going to go under the line and kind of hang out over there. You see how it goes under the line and it hangs out like just like this cat tail does? Yeah, that's what the letter G does too. Isn't that funky? Nothing else so far has gone underneath that line. So you have an uppercase G over here. It goes like around, stop short, and then go over. And you have the lowercase G where you go around, stop, and then go straight down and make that little like cat's tail, okay? just like that now the lowercase g it's it kind of looks like it's a tall letter because it goes down underneath but it's not up here no there's nothing up there right that's empty it's just from the bait from the collar line down to the foot line but then it does go under like that cat's tail that is the amazing letter g and that little hanging cat hanging tail there on the lowercase g very very cool glad you came out and wrote with me today